Hey there, my friend. This is Tony Stewart. And you know, this whole coronavirus thing continues. And I was sitting there thinking about it. I saw some reports that talked about how they're closing all the restaurants and um, allowing the restaurants to kind of do delivery, but that's the only thing they can do. And uh, I started also thinking about all the people who are out there handy, who are just providing services to folks, and it got me thinking. I'm, you know, I was thinking, you know, those people who have the restaurants and really wanting to uh, support them. But I got this, these f physical goals, if you will, and it won't allow me to take advantage of all the nice, wonderful foods they may have in their restaurants. So how can I help? And then, light bulb, this idea came to mind. And I was like, this could be awesome. So here's what you do. And this is going to be fun. Pick a restaurant, it doesn't matter which restaurant it is, somewhere that you want to support the people in there who are going to be hurting because they're not getting tips, they're not getting those types of things, not get, their business is decreasing and so forth. Well, here's a cool thing you can do, a fun thing you can do. Now, what you do, and a lot of these places have delivery set up. Even some places that typically don't do delivery are now doing delivery. Hey, Jeff. Um, so what you do is you go ahead and you order from these places. Now, if you're like me, you got some physical goals, you got some food on hand, don't order for yourself. Choose either A, perhaps a food shelter, or B, a service provider, a firehouse. You can send it to a fire engine house, a police station, but send the food there, okay? So then you're blessing those people who receive it at one of these service providers, but then also make sure that when you pay for it, and you can use your debit card and so forth to pay for it, that you give a nice little tip to the driver. And that way, you're blessing two entities. You're blessing the restaurant. You're blessing the people who are receiving it. And I'm telling you, it will be a great encouragement. With all this craziness going on, there's opportunities for us to jump in there and really help people. And you can do it from the comfort of your own home, from the comfort of your phone. You don't have to leave home. You don't have to even... Uh, risk anything or interact with anything, but you're supporting the restaurant, you're supporting the driver, and then you're also supporting the service provider, whoever that is. Hey, Lisa. So think about doing that. I think it'll bless people. It'll make you feel good because, you know, we're blessed to be a blessing and to be able to have our health and strength and be able to uh, help out with folks who are going through a rough time as we all are with all the craziness. This is a real tangible way that you can bless somebody. So that's all I have for the day. Take some time, call a restaurant, and then call and, and send them to a firehouse, send them to a homeless shelter, send them somewhere to deliver that food that can be a blessing to someone. Now, what about you? Well, for you, I want you to get a hold of the top five books you should be reading right now during this crisis. There's no, there's no sports on TV. The uh, shows and concerts are canceled. So what are you going to do with that time? You're going to grow yourself. And one of the best ways to grow, there's a saying that readers are leaders. So a great way to grow right now is to dive, dive into some books. They're going to bless you. And here's the great thing about the books. The books that are on my list are books you can get off of Kindle tonight, meaning that you can start reading these things and growing from the, the things that you read in that book tonight. So inbox me. I'll send you the top five books. Be blessed. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.